Explain Oracle's commitment to Linux. Linux work at Oracle started really in 1998 where we started porting our products to Linux. And Oracle became really serious about Linux somewhere May 2002 where we announced the Oracle Unbreakable Linux marketing program. And part of that message was that we were saying you need a, a good quality, supportable operating system that works across a large number of systems, large number of vendors. And low-cost hardware, or back then it was called commodity hardware, low-cost hardware was becoming very popular. The systems were a lot more stable, they were very performant, and Linux was the perfect operating system from an Oracle point of view to run in, uh, on, these, on these systems. And so we started making sure that all our products run very well on it. It became our base platform at the company, both from a development point of view. All Oracle product development is on Linux today as a base platform. Within the company, it's also the, the choice of production platform. So we, we strongly believe in Linux being a great choice. So we're not just going out to customers saying, you should run this, or we believe you should run this. We actually do the same thing within the company. And I think that we do a, a, a good service for Linux by doing this. We're not just saying, you do it, we're not. We're saying, we are doing this, we really believe this is the right choice, and we recommend our customers do, to do the same thing. Now, everything we do on the Linux side to make it a better server operating system and a, a good choice in, in enterprise environments is by, you know, we do a lot of testing, we add new features, the, the data integrity project is a very good example. We have a new file system under development which can compete with traditionally high-end Unix platform uh, file systems and so forth. So we're really focused on making Linux the, the best server operating system. What value does Oracle place on its contributions to the open source community? Open source for Oracle has really been a, a community effort and a, a development project environment. We're, we're focused as a company to provide solutions to customers. And in general, we, we build a lot of this technology ourselves. How, however, sometimes there are projects in, there, in, the, in the community that are actually very relevant to us that are quality projects and then we, we consider using these, depending on the licenses, use these in our products. So we have one way of contributing by taking certain open source products, including them in the Oracle offering and help enhance them. Everything we do in the open source area goes back to the, the communities. Um, so we, we actually do a, a large number of contributions both in the middleware space as well as in the uh, Linux OS space. And on the Linux side, we're a little bit different in the sense that we provide a support offering. We, we have a, um, a support model for, for Red Hat Enterprise Linux customers or for customers that want to start from scratch. We have the Oracle Enterprise Linux distribution. And in that space, we, we are a full standard Linux OS support provider. Part of that is doing a lot of testing. We have a huge testing infrastructure within the company because that's what we use for, for testing the Oracle products. So we have thousands of machines every day that run Oracle database regression testing on Linux. And as such, my, my team doing Linux OS development has a very easy access to, to deploying new fixes and, and new features into this farm. We then constantly run the tests, and this makes it a lot easier to, to get a, a product very well tested. So contributions are both from a development effort, which are always open, and then secondly, also from a, a testing point of view, where we spend a huge amount of effort in making sure Linux is very stable for, for our customers. What are the benefits of Oracle's infrastructure for mission-critical applications? We've been doing a number of things in the last few years, and I think the, the, the most interesting part where we are today is that we have a, a full stack management product with Enterprise Manager. So we actually, from Oracle towards customers, we offer one management product that can manage top to bottom. We can manage the applications, application server, database, we have Linux OS management, we have bare metal provisioning, we have host monitoring, we have plugins for storage vendors, we have virtualization management. So from a management point of view, a top to bottom application. From the generic software stack point of view, we also are top to bottom. We have various application stacks. We have the PeopleSoft, Siebel, Oracle applications itself. We have Hyperion and so forth. We have the, the middleware stack where we have an incredibly flexible and huge um, data 
app application server product, we have our database product, we have Oracle Unbreakable Linux support, we have Oracle VM as a virtualization layer. So really from an infrastructure point of view, as, as a single software vendor, we can provide and do provide the full stack top to bottom. And then thirdly, from a support point of view, we now also have full stack top to bottom. So full stack management, full stack product environment, and full stack support. So a single phone call to make from a customer point of view, no finger pointing between software vendors, and then just the next step is dealing with the hardware vendor when there is a joint issue. How does your open source strategy impact your work with partners? One of the reasons that Linux was interesting to us was because we can work on new features in the database much sooner. You have to see, if you look at the traditional model where we work with an OS vendor, we have a developer in the database group that has an interesting idea. And so that idea then has to go to the, the alliance partner manager for a given OS vendor. They then get a meeting together with um, developers from that company. They then try to find a timeline to work on something, even to quickly prototype a feature that could benefit both the Oracle side and, and the OS vendor side. And so just a simple prototype would take a long time. Now with Linux, that totally changed the game for us because we have developers within Oracle doing these prototypes together with the developers doing the database development in the same building or one building next to the other. So there's no need to come up with project plans, there's no need to come up with long-term funding issues and so forth. And so open source has helped us in that regard very much. Um, uh, particularly owning Linux or having Linux as an operating system. Now this also extends to partners because given that it's open source, we don't have to worry too much about licensing around the software we're developing on the Linux OS side. And so as we work with partners such as Emulex, we can easily give this code to you. We, we have a policy more or less within our group that every Linux uh, project we work on is open source from day one. How can data centers optimize their Oracle performance? From an Oracle point of view, what we're basically telling customers is that running on low-cost hardware is very cost-effective. Using Linux as an operating system is one, good um, from a performance point of view. Two, it's good because it is an enterprise quality operating system. And so then the Oracle stack on top. Um, obviously, we, we have the, the storage backend being you know, either fiber channel based or, or, uh, or network based. However, you know, that's a choice customers have on, on their preference with, with the partners they work with. But basically, we, we believe that clusters of systems work very well. You start with database clusters, you have application server clusters hooked up to fast storage, and, and that's really the, the base model that we start with.